And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. The show brings you a matchup of division rivals. It's the San Francisco Giants and the San Diego Padres. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Just about set to go now. And today's starter, Glenn Otto. How about a report on him, Chris? Anytime you have five pitches to work with on the mound, that repertoire can be a real weapon in terms of keeping hitters off balance, man. It's, it's one of those things that I'm going to be looking for in this one. Does he have a feel for all of those pitches, or is he just able to get one or two over in the strike zone where he wants? Now, it's tough to do to be able to command all those pitches, but if he can, he is going to be very tough for the opponent today. Tyro Estrada in the box now. Oh, one balls and a strike. Up the middle, and he knocks it down. Safe at first as they can't make the play. Austin Slater stands in. Slater. Hey, Third ball drops in for a strike. Go ahead, run at first. Nobody out. Here in game three of this first game series. Chases that one out of the zone. Now one away. He's locked in at the plate, but he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. One ball, Wilmer one Flores in the box here. Let's that one go for a ball. Swing and a miss. Knowing that the pitcher one wants one. a ground ball double play opportunity here, you've got to lay off pitches down in the zone. Right there, swinging at that pitch, that's a no-no. That one uh, uh, just uh, misses. It's a good take. Two, two. And the right-hander deals. Rolled to short. Possible two ball. Off balance uh, feed. There's one. And that's two. One hit in the inning, but nothing more than that. Back here in San Diego. And towing the slab in this one, Jordan Hicks. Oh, a very solid ERA last season, just a little over three. And when you've got a guy like that like, taking the mound for you, the offense is definitely expected to score four runs at least unless they're really struggling. So you know more times than not, when he's on the ball, you're going to win the ball game if you just do your part as an offense. So last year, great year. He wants to repeat that or even improve. And I think there is some room for improvement. He's got good stuff. It's just executing from hitter to hitter. And the righty deals. High in the air, out to right. Solaire pulls it down. One up, one down. Let's take a look at the Padres lineup. The challenge for him today, Singy, elevating the baseball against this sinker baller that's on the mound. Yeah, that's the challenge, but it also might affect the way they approach base running in this one, Boog. You get a runner on first, you anticipate trajectory down, and when the ball's in the dirt with a good secondary lead, you break for second. So whether it's a stolen base or not, you stay out of the double play, get that runner in a scoring position, and that can help you put more runs on the board. B-I-D, ball in dirt. Fires across the diamond, and there's two down. Batting third. The third base. Manny Machado up to the plate. All around, I think if you asked anyone in this organization, who's the best hitter in the lineup, they would say him. And a swing and a miss. Out there on the mound, he's setting the tone early with the fastball, 98 miles per hour up on the scoreboard. And he blows that one by him at 100. Well, he looks to have some quality stuff on the hill today. Start this outing out. Pepper in the zone. Arm is loose and firing him in there. That misses. One, and a count one and two. And a base hit up the middle. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Couldn't have timed it up any that better than that. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. 
And the batter will be Fernando Tatis Jr. Next offering is foul back. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Two outs. So a foul ball makes it one and two. That one two missed. Way outside. Oh, Counts full. Three and two. Three, two, two out. Runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Bounce to the left side. Luciano. They get nope. the force. That's the inning. Back here at Petco Park. Here's the veteran outfielder, Jorge Soler. That misses well. the zone. Ball one. And that's a strike. Freddie Ferguson doing the umpiring duties behind the plate in this one. Yeah, Freddie's a well-respected oh, yeah. umpire, dude. Maybe a little bit more of a pitcher's umpire. He does like to pitch down just below the knees or right oh. about there, but most hitters are pretty good at covering that spot these three. days. That misses, the and the count's full. Yeah, I mean, he's a guy that has a reputation for being Fergalicious. Yes, and, Awful. you know, whatever. <laughs> I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow hit on the ground might be two to second there's one back to first and that is a double play he got what he was looking for on the mound right there and his infielders took care of business pretty textbook execution between short and second to turn that into two outs Lamont Wade Jr. in the box with two gone and it takes a look at a called strike Oh, just missed It's so hard to slow yourself down when you see that juicy breaking ball, but the most success happens when you try to take that right back up the middle approach. Two down, nobody on. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom half of inning number two. Stepping in for San Diego, Luis Campusano. Now the right-hander ready to go. Yeehaw. Still no score. And that curveball drops in there for a strike. Looks like he sacrificed a pitch right down the middle for tracking and timing. Some good hitters will do that. Ball. And that's outside. And that's ball one. Popped up. Estrada has this one sized up. Puts it away for the out. And here's the first baseman, Jake Cronenworth. Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh wow. 0-1. That's not even close to the zone. Right-hander kicks deals. That one ripped, but foul. One out, base is empty. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Yastrzemski calls it in, and there's two away. So digging in now for San Diego, Kyle Higashioka. He's a catcher by trade, but the DH here in this one. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. The pitch. Swings and chases a low one there. This guy's not wasting any pitches. Hitters got to get into swing mode. This is a good time to expand the zone. Throw something maybe down in the dirt. All right, grounder into the outfield for a knock. So a two-out knock keeps the inning alive. Now batting jerks and throw far. No left field. You're right Pitch misses. Ball. ball one. Back 
to the mound. And that one handled. Got him on the off-balance throw. And we're back. Matt Chapman up to the plate now. Here comes the pitch. Hammer, base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Nice line drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Next offering is in for a strike. Nobody out. Runner at first. No, that's Next low. pitch misses. Oh. Two and one. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. Well, when those hitters count, sometimes can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. He goes down looking. Here's the catcher to hit, Patrick Bailey. There's a strike at the knees, and it's 0-1. Bailey measures six feet even, getting ninth in today's lineup. A former first-round pick in 2020. That one gets down for a hit. And they'll have runners at the corners after a one-out single. I don't think that pitch would have been called a strike, but he did such a nice job of pulling his hands tight to the body and just getting enough of the barrel on it to be hard enough back up oh. the middle for a knock. Estrada in one now. Out. Takes ball one off the plate. Just oh. missed. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double right. play in this spot. That one finds two the one. zone, and it's two and one. Swing and a bouncer. Machado fired to second, and they can't fire a break. Their third double play already ends the third. Back here in San Diego, and here's the rookie center fielder, Jackson Merrill. Hicks back to work. Hammer, and this one could be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. Not stopping, he's going for three. The relay, and he's in to third base with a leadoff triple. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Fall off foul. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. Just not able to catch up to that velocity. And a swing and a miss. Huge strike out there. Well, that's the money maker right there. Two strikes, slider down and away from a same side thrower as the hitter. I mean, that's just tough. You're looking to protect with two strikes and very difficult to lay off. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. The pitch. One and one. Skips in and excellent work to corral that one. Could have been dangerous. Ball to strike. The pitch. This one in the air center field. Yastrzemski on the move. Drops into the glove. Runner tagging from third. Maybe bluffing there as he returns to third. Here's Manny Machado. One for one with a single so far. Machado. First one offering ball, misses strike. badly for ball one. Pretty good pitch to take a pass at in a 1 0 count. Just not able to square it up. Two outs. Up the middle. And that chance handled. Save! He beats it!
Fernando Tatis Jr. to hit here. He's 0 for 1. Luciano. They take the force out, and that is the inning. They pick up a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. And a pitch. Slater, the leadoff batter, as he swings through it for strike one. All these Giants looking to string together better at bats That's when they have runners on, but it just hasn't happened for one, them yet. One. The good news is they're getting runners on base. The bad news is they've grounded into three double plays, and it's almost always a rally killer. Up the middle, Bogarts fires to first on the run. Yeah. Leadoff hitter retired in the fourth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. And a base hit. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy. Didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep. Took the barrel right to it and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. That missed. That's the ball. Just missed. One ball, one Tying run is at first. Top half of inning number four. That's, That's down and in. off the mark and now it's three and two the only adjustment he needs to make is his target if you aim at the outside corner that slider's going to end up way off the plate perhaps look a little more down the middle and you get it right where you want it right. through that one it's a strikeout you know Blue, you often think a slider is more for that horizontal that movement but wow. most of the good ones have both vertical depth yeah. and that horizontal movement and that's what we saw right there good drop oh, on the boy. break and got him to swing over the top Two outs. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. The pitch. Just oh. off the outside corner. And that's ball one. Just no, off the outside ball. part of the plate. Sometimes you got to fight to get back into an at-bat. Take some tough pitches, even out the count. Finds its way through base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Wait, yeah. in the box now, take strike one. Swings and lines one towards the gap, and that's down, a base hit. Runner around third. He'll score in their time. It's 1-1. Comes through clutch with the RBI single. That was big. Good job getting the foot down so he could catch it out front and pull it. Turn on it nicely for the mound. Now, man. Matt Chapman at the plate. In wow. the dirt. And that is ball one. Ground ball right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. But the RBI single pushes across a run. All even now at 1-1. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here with my pal Siggy, ready to go, bottom four. And now the catcher comes up to him. Luis Campusano, the right-hander back to work. Yeah. Swings through that one for strike one. Your These hitters have strike. come out ready to swing the bats early in the count and swing it often. If you want to score some runs, have an offensive explosion, That's that can be a route to doing it. One and one. Here's a one one. Right. Swing and a miss as he was out front that one time. Two. Looking, that's a strikeout. Frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. And there's a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. 
Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it in the center for the knock. Those One and always up. feel good. Higashioka, the next to hit, takes outside. Swings through that one. This guy's got such a good one sinker. One. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. And here it comes. Fouled off. He was late. Man at first, one away. Next off, three away upstairs. He delivers. Runner on the goal. This to third. No chance at the double play with the runner in motion. That's a good piece of hitting right there. The job was to move the runner up and give your team a chance to score the go-ahead run. That's exactly what happened. So you better believe your teammates are happy with you after that at bat. Profile oh, in the box now as he looks at ball one. Second plate appearance of the day for him. Crushed. Left center field. This one's deep for Gattel. A gigantic blast. His first homer of the year. It's 3-1. Listen to these fans. This place is absolutely buzzing right now. You can feel the energy all the way up here in our broadcast booth. level you got to be good sometimes you got to be a little lucky that was a pretty nasty pitch sinker on the outside corner but he did a great job of covering it and he hit the ball out of the park jackson merrill the next up for the padres one for one he tripled in his first trip in the air pretty deep out to center field yastrzemski settles under it that is the inning Two across on this San Diego homer. It's now a 3-1 ball game. Back here at Petco Park. Now Marco Luciano. Marco Luciano. The pitch. To the right side. Bogarts with the throw to first. One away here in the fifth. Good sinker low in the zone right there and produced exactly what he was looking for. Ball on the ground. Nice ground out. Nope. Bailey ball. takes a ball as he stands in for the second time. The Giants trailing by two. And nope. we're at the top ball. of the fifth. Next offering is down low. The offense needs to start showing some fight against this starter. He's doing his thing out there. They're going to have to push back at some point and make him work a little bit harder. Gets it to first. And a couple of quick outs. Tyro Estrada to the plate. One for two. There's a strike. Two down, nobody on. You're in game three of this four-game series. That's a little bit low. To third, Machado rolls across the diamond, and Estrada is out. We head to the bottom of the field. Here's Xander Bogarts. The second baseman, Xander Bogarts. And he deals. And first offering is fouled off. Bogarts, who wears that number two on his back for his idol, Derek Jeter. Gets the outside corner with that one. Inside almost got him. Straighten him up a little bit. Wouldn't choose that time.
kicks and deals. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. Up with it, fires the first. Gets him. One away on a drop third strike. Next for the Padres, Hassan Kim. That clips the corner. One down, base is empty. And that one hammered. That's going back. Back some more. And that one is going to go. That'll fire up the dugout. His first homer of the year is 4-1. was on time took a direct path to the ball excellent extension and just drove it out of here nothing better than when the ball jumps off your bat like that base is empty one away stepping in for San Diego Manny Machado sends it to Flores Machado out of the play. The comebacker got him down low, and you can really see him favoring the leg. That's his plant leg, which might be a concern, Chris. Yeah, you hope he's got some feeling in that leg so he can land on it, like you said. But from the way he's acting out there, I think it looks like he's going to be okay and try to continue, Boo. Two outs, base is empty. Fernando Tatis Jr., the next up for the Padres. That one, one not close, right. and it's one to know. Movement in the bullpen, Luke Jackson getting ready to come in for Bob Melvin. Rogers also getting ready. Tatis waits. So two, two balls out. and no strikes. He's clearly trying to work him away here, both pitches off the plate. If you really want to put the ball in play, you're going to have to stay back and drive it to the opposite field. And yeah. that's in for a strike. A miss as he was late. Two and two. High fly ball out towards left field. Slater ranging back, reaching for it, and brings it in. The Padres get one in the inning with a solo blast. It's now 4 1. It's Major League Baseball on the show. And welcome back to leading the ballpark. Off, John, John. Start of the six, the John Shambi with Chris Singleton. And leading off, Slater. Austin Slater. And that's in for a strike. Slater, 31 years old, and he was drafted in the eighth round back in 2014. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. Man aboard on the leadoff single. He was over that one pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one he pulled it hard into the outfield and even when you keep it on the ground it feels great when you hit a missile like that Flores at the plate now that's ball one next yeah. offering is in for a strike now this team is definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here try to close that gap but you know at the very least if you can find a way to manufacture that run from first it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ball game no, Next pitch is downstairs. Slater ball, gets strikes. his lead at first with nobody out. Off that's the mark the there. Three balls, two strikes. Down is full. Got it. Yeah. And for the play. He's got to throw any pitch in any count. Three, two. He goes off speed. Gets the out. On the ground, a second might be two. Over to Kim. One. And yet another twin killing. They're fourth of the day and it ends the inning no runs one hit no errors and no one left we go to the bottom half of inning number six and the five six seven slots do up it's the Padres four and the Giants one so Luke 
Jackson gets the call. And we all know about a slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. Pop foul out of play off to the right. Jackson, a 6-2 righty. He features a slider, a four-seamer, and he occasionally uses a curve. And there's a foul ball. And the 2 Slider outside, misses ball. outside. Hey. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Just a great slider right there. And I think the key for pitchers and what hitters don't want to see is if a pitcher misses with that pitch, then oh. he misses off the edge of the strike zone rather than in the middle of the strike zone. And right there, excellent execution, and it finished up in a perfect spot. Let's see you win. One and one. Base is empty one away here in the bottom of the sixth. And yeah, the oh. one two misses to even the count. And ball another count. ball. One down, base is empty. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. And a pitch. And there's ball, ball four. Ball four, take your base. Kyle Higashioka, the next Nine up goal. for the Padres. Pinch hitter coming on. Number 22. Runner on first and one down four. Popped in the air. Left field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two away. in the air right center field makes the play and it's out number three and we're back we go to the top of the seventh Mike Yastrzemski up here and that one pulled foul and a pitch and a foul ball bounce to the right Cronenworth Howdy. takes it to the bag, and they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. Here's Lamont Wade Jr. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. No ball, one strike. On the ground, right side. Throw over to Cronenworth, and two away to start the seventh. Two outs, space is empty. And here is ball. Matt Chapman. First pitch misses. And that's in there at the knees. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Now here's Tyler Rogers out of the pen. Now he's made. Number 71. Tyler. Making his second appearance of the season. The pitch. Merrill hey, leading things off and takes a strike. The 0-2. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. One out. Now here's Xander Bogarts now. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a flyout. On the ground to third. Two up, two down. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. So two down now, and here is Hassan Kim. Into center and a base hit. And that extends the inning.
right there does a great job of staying in the big part of the field man there are a lot of hits there here's Manny Machado now bounce to the right side and he picks it up in foul territory two outs and it's fouled away kicks and fires and they'll do it again the 0 2 ground ball left side Chapman over to first in time Machado back here in San Diego new inning getting started and digging in for San Francisco Marco Luciano and the righty deals. And yeah. that's in there at the knees. In this situation, you expect the batters to be a little more patient, possibly yeah. take until they get a strike. And with that, you don't want to miss your opportunity to get ahead early in the count. He didn't right there. On the ground to first. Boots it. To first. And he just gets it there in time. One away. So digging in, Patrick Bailey. That one to first, and it goes just foul. Seems like the hitters are struggling with their timing today. Kind of caught in between that sharp fastball and the nasty slider. I'd like to see him settle on a consistent pitch. And that's just foul. Out to short. Ken with the throw to first. Two up, two down here in the top of the eighth. Tyro Estrada, the next giant to hit. Right through there for a strike. He's gotten into a really good rhythm. Set down seven in a row. He just wants to get the baseball and deliver it as quickly as possible. Keep the momentum going. Two down, nobody on. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Right-hander kicks, deals. Goes down looking. Nothing doing there for Sanford. Back here with my pal Siggy. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. Here's the cleanup hitter for the Padres, Fernando Tatis Jr. The pitch. Fastball for a strike. It's 0-1. Signs of movement in the Giants bullpen. Number 74 getting ready to come in for Bob Melvin. Strike two. Oh two. Out to short. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. No throw, and they come away without an out. Now so the man aboard. So digging in now for San Diego, Luis Campusano. Dives back, and he's out. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. Puts it away for the out. And there's two down. Two outs, base is empty. Next for the Padres, Jake Cronenworth. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it, but sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. Oh, and one. For one of those loop hits to get a knock sometimes. Swing and a miss. Chased it out of the zone. Throwing the ball no well, ball. and they need the scoreless inning and relief right here. Been doing a good job keeping him in striking distance. Two outs. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And a nice inning of work there. New pitcher now, number one. He comes in with a chance for his second save of the season. And here is Austin Slater. One for three. As the lefty gets to work. He swings and fouls one off. And now the lefty. Ball one there. Check swing. He went. And the count is one and two. 
foul ball. He stays alive. And a pitch. Fights that one away. Still one and two. High fly ball down the left field line. Profar has a beat on it. Takes it in for the out. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Flores, batting with one down, takes a strike. And a foul ball. That hits the dirt. Now one and two. And a pitch. Got him looking. Now only one out remaining. One out left for the Giants. Jorge Soler up at the plate. And downstairs. Lifted to left, and that should do it. He's got it. Ball game. The Padres claim the win here behind some great pitching and defense. Whether you're a season ticket holder or you just come to a couple of games a year, to see your team win at home, there's just something special about that. Good job by this team to get it done for the hometown fans. 4-1 the final here today. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chomby saying so long.